here comes our countdown match 10 underway as all six of our robots begin on the initiation line we're seeing on both alliances one robot going for all of the power cells on the initiation line that was alex 1477 for the red alliance and josh 4910 for blue We've got immediate firing into the outer port as we exit our autonomous period with a nine point red alliance lead. All three blue alliance robots at their loading zone. They made that rush as soon as autonomous was over. Red Alliance with a different strategy. Defense being played already by Alex1477 in contact too long with Silverhawk and Josh4910. They respawn on the initiation line and it looks like they're not going to be playing defense anymore. They're back at the loading zone with their Alliance partners. They're playing a game of hungry, hungry hippos with those other Red Alliance robots. But Alex G3158 and Michael624 have their fill and are back to fire into the outer port. Blue Alliance building a lead. Both alliances able to score 45 power cells and increasing that count with one minute and 20 seconds to go. Shaq trying to grab hold of power cells off the floor. Many robots have been able to take advantage of when the power cells dump out of the loading zone to quickly grab hold. Shaq trying to get there a little bit later it takes a bit longer for them to grab hold of power cells as they scoop individual cells off the ground. That does not prevent them from scoring, however. Blue Alliance with only a two point lead with less than a minute to go. That lead, despite the fact that the Blue Alliance have scored fewer power cells. This is showing us that whoever is driving these Blue Alliance robots are doing a great job of being able to score not only in the outer port, but in the inner port to earn the extra points that come along with it. Entering our end game period, still neck and neck between our two alliances. Red Alliance taking the lead, but it's going back and forth it looks like we're seeing that teams are delaying as they wait to get to the shield generator switch. Both the red and blue alliances trying to get many last shots off before they race to midfield to attempt those end game tasks. That was a good move for both alliances. Both red and blue able to score greater than 90 power cells in those final moments. And they've got three, two, one second to pull themselves up. It looks like all three Red Alliance robots were up initially, but one may have fallen in the final moments. And our final score, this one's going to the Blue Alliance with a 368 to 302. Like we already saw, both alliances able to score more than 90 power cells. However, only the Blue Alliance able to score 65 or greater points during the end game. What that means is your Blue Alliance is walking away with a perfect match. Two ranking points from the victory and two ranking points from their bonus tasks. Whereas the Red Alliance will only be earning one ranking point. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.